Well, hello. As you can see by my, by my breath, it's a little bit cold outside today. Anyway, courtesy of the weather and Storm Babette, I thought I'd make the most of it and take the opportunity to do a little bit of a fleet update on uh, what's happening with the cars and what's happening with the garage. I suppose the most important one really is the garage at the minute. Now I was getting on really well with the garage roof. Car show season is drawing to an end. Uh, I think there's only a couple of events left, neither of which I'm booked in to go to. Uh, the weather's far too bad now by the looks of it to uh, be spending days sitting on a field shivering. So I'm just going to make the most of what dry days we do have left throughout to the end of the year. And I was concentrating on getting the garage roof on or at least getting the major, the major part of the garage roof on. Uh, we have getting as far as this. So most of the panels are on at the back end of the garage now. There's only, uh, I think, another four joist supports or noggins to cut and install, and then another four panels to go on, and that'll be the back half of the garage completely roofed. And then all I've got to do is tidy up the inside of it, move a few things around. I've got a lot of stuff on the floor in the garage at the front of it, that needs to be moved to the back of the garage so I can take the front part of the old roof off and obviously finish getting the, the new roof extended across the full length of the garage. So that's where we are with that one. Sadly, that's all had to come to an end for the moment because of Storm Babette. Speaking of which, uh, I hope everybody's fine, everybody's doing okay and you haven't any major damage or any structural damage and everything's fine where you are. I know it's pretty grim across the entire country at the minute and I think Scotland's getting the worst of it rain-wise but uh, it's uh, it's pretty bad up here. As you can see, it's really cold up here at the moment. Anyway, uh, so at the minute, sitting in the Cortina. Uh, so we'll start with the Cortina update. I don't know if you would have uh, seen the video where I took the Ranchero and just went for a bit of a drive around in the Ranchero. But in that one, what I was saying was, uh, the one time I did take the Cortina out, it didn't drive very well at all. It didn't run very well at all. I have narrowed that down. I think the not driving very well part of it is mostly down to the alignment or the tyre pressures. It's not something to do with the brakes because when you're driving and you haven't got your foot on the brakes, it still wants to pull to the right or it still is pulling to the right. So um, the tyre pressures all seem to be where they should be. So I'm thinking it might be alignment, but that's nothing really to worry about at the minute. The bad running problem uh, narrowed that down to the carburetor. So I need to do some work on the carburetor, look at the settings, maybe put it back to its basic settings from the factory and then go from there. So should be a nice easy fix to get the Cortina on the road so I can enjoy more of it when uh, the weather gets better, which is probably going to be next year now. Moving on to the car sitting next to us here, over on my left behind camera, that you can't see it, uh, my, uh, my Dodge Charger. Uh, that's up running, that doesn't have a problem with driving at all. There is a bit of a rumble uh, or a bit of a humming going on from the rear of it. So I don't know that that's something to do with the diff or it's a bearing on it to out, so that I need investigating when we get into next year. Uh, also at the moment, it has no headlights. Uh, the headlights are, seem to be playing up and um, the gauges on the dashboard are working, but only in an intermittent fashion. So plenty to be looking at there, not to mention the little bits of rust repair that need doing on it and obviously sorting out the roof on it since uh, the last storm we had put a, a few, uh, half a dozen or so holes in the vinyl roof. So that's uh, the charger one done. Obviously once the garage roof's done, I can get the charger in the garage and then uh, I can start working on that and work my way through that one. I'm currently parked up on the left of the Charger or behind the Charger from where we're sitting at the minute, the Mustang. Now obviously the Mustang's not mine, uh, it does belong to a friend of mine and we do have that ongoing ABS problem. It is booked in to an auto electrician in a couple of days time so waiting for him to have a look at it so we can find out whether it's the ABS pump or the ABS pump relays. I'm absolutely shocking at electrics. Uh, I need to learn more about those but I'm absolutely shocking at electrics and personally I don't feel comfortable diving into an ABS pump and it really is inside the ABS pump in case I make things worse. So on this particular occasion the Mustang is going to a professional and hopefully he'll be able to either cure the problem or at least settle where it is so we can put, uh, put the problem right and get that uh, sorted out and get that back up on the road as well. And then sitting behind me, uh, or at least sitting behind the Cortina, is the Ranchero. Now at the minute the Ranchero is my daily driver. It does have one or two little niggles, but that's the only car I've got on the road at the minute. I can actually drive around in legally um, and easily at this time of year without having to worry about it too much. God knows what it's going to be like driving around in the snow and the ice when that gets here, if we do get any this year. But we'll see what happens as, as we get closer at that time. But for now though, the Ranchero does seem to be running okay, fingers crossed. I've probably just jinxed myself by saying that, but uh, as I say, currently, although there's a, a lot of things that I want to do to it, uh, technically at the moment, realistically, 
it doesn't actually need anything doing to it in order for us to get out in it and drive around and do whatever I need to do when I'm out and about and I need a car. Anyway, with everything up on the channel updated, there's no more projects in the pipeline at the moment, although you never know and never say no to uh, to a reasonable project. There is, after all, a space on the property now since the, uh, the caddy van's gone, so I do have an area where I could squeeze something else in, but don't hold your breath on that one. Uh, it may or may not happen. Budget being the, the biggest problem there. Speaking of budget, uh, if you do want to support the channel, I do have channel stickers available. There's a, a link in the description below the video as to how you go about ordering those ones. And if you feel like buying us a coffee to keep us warm at this time of year, when I'm out in the freezing cold garage on Storm Bet's left us and we're, we're back to normal weather, uh, there's a link to my coffee page down there in the description as well. And you can just um, buy us a coffee, buy us a couple of coffees, do whatever you want with that one. If you do feel as though you want, you're enjoying the channel or you know, all the videos that are put out and the content that gets put out, there is a link down there if you want to help improve the budget of the channel so I can afford more car parts and more parts to, uh, to get the roof finished. I am running low on wood, so I do need some more wood in order to help get the rest of the supports done and, uh, and repair the joists that are fairly rotten in there at the moment. And of course, I always need tools and I'm always going to need car parts. Anyway, as I said earlier, uh, hopefully you're not suffering too much with the storm. Uh, stay safe, stay indoors where you can, keep nice and warm, get the fire on, get YouTube on and start watching a few more of my videos. There's over 250 of them on there to keep you entertained for a while. For now though, I'm going to go indoors and grab a cup of coffee. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.